Hello, good day, and welcome. I'll be answering NECO 2019 Biology Pass Question 13. The association between man and tapeworm is A. Commensalism, B. Mutualism, C. Parasitism, D. Predation, and E. Saprophytism. So, we're asked for the words really association between man and tapeworm. Now, brief, let's, just, let's briefly describe the association between man and tapeworm. Now, like we know, Tapeworm are flatworms. They belong to the phylum Platyelminthes. So they are flatworm. Tapeworm are flatworm. And these tapeworm are actually what they live in the intestine of man. They live in the intestine of man. And now their activities in the guts or the intestine of man is that they would they consume or they feed on they feed on the digested food they feed on the digested food present in the intestine present in the intestine now as they feed on this digested food present in the intestine they take away all the nutritive substances and thereby cause all sorts of anemia in man they take away all nutritive substances nutritive substances and thereby cause what cause anemia they cause anemia in man now you see that what the activities of this tapeworm in man is actually what's harmful because they live in the intestine that is in the gut of man feed on the digested food which is supposed to be was used by the man take away all the nutritive substances and causes what anemia they also cause what vomiting in severe cases and even irritate the walls of the intestine now you see that these activities are what actually harmful on man that the activities of tapeworm are harmful on man and tapeworm actually what live in man now let's describe the options option a says commensalism now commensalism is a type of association whereby one of the organisms known as the commensal the commensal actually what the commensal benefits from this association the commensal benefits but the other organism neither what neither benefits nor harm that is the ne the other organism is referred to as a neutral organism and the other organism is referred to as what as a neutral organism it is neither what benefited nor harm from this association an example can be seen in shark and remora fish you can see this in shark and remora fish now option b says mutualism in mutualism in mutualism both organisms involved actually what gain that is both organisms involved in mutualism this association they benefit from each other the benefits from each other the benefits from each other and an example of mutualism is what you see in cattle's and tick beds cattle's and tick beds now the tick beds feeds on the tick beds feeds on the cat on the um, ticks on the body of the cattle and also the cattle benefits by what by the ticks being taken away from their body so that making them free from ticks now C says parasitism. Now parasitism is a type of association whereby an organism known as the parasite, an organism known as the parasite, lives and feed on the body of the hosts. It lives and feeds on the body of the hosts and causes what and causes damage to the host. That's what parasitism. Now option D says predation. In terms of predation, the organism, an organism known as a predator, the predator actually what hunts the prey. It hunts the other organism, what, what you call, call the prey, prey for food. An, an example, you will see that, that in, what, in lion and its prey, like, like maybe lion, lion and the antelope. Now, the lion is a predator because it goes to hunt for its prey, which is the antelope for food. Now, now option E is a prophetism. Now, a prophetism is a type of relationship whereby what? The, the organisms feed on dead what remains. They feed on dead remains. And vulture usually what practices this 
cyber prophetism in this type of association. Now, from my description of all these options, you will see that what, the association between man and tapeworm is parasitism. Because the tapeworm is, what, is a parasite that lives and feeds. It lives inside what, the man, which is the host, that is in the intestine of man. Man, man being the host and the tapeworm being the parasite. Now, it's now what it feeds on the host that, that is feeding on digested food present in the intestine of the host, which is man, and also what causes damage to man by causing anemia, vomiting, and other words, other sort of diseases. So, the association between man and tapeworm is parasitism. Option C. Thank you and God bless you. And just subscribe to the channel for more videos.